Here is how to add a currency converter to your Shopify store. Hey everyone and welcome. I hope you are all doing great and I will show you exactly that. Uh, keep in mind I will show you just one method out of plenty uh, on how to actually add a currency converter. Uh, however, I need, to, I need you to understand that this method that I will show you is completely for free. You don't have to pay anything for it. The app is for free and uh, yeah, that is actually very good because you don't have to pay anything for it and you will get pretty much everything that you will need. So let's actually get started. The first thing I will actually just explain a little bit what I mean. So uh, if you're selling worldwide, uh, my my Shopify currency here is uh, Emirates Dramas basically. So people wouldn't really understand what that is when they're purchasing stuff. So you just want to translate this uh, for their own country. So if they're buying from the US, you want this uh, price to be viewed in USD. So they would understand how much it really is without having, you know, to go to calculate it uh, in a different tab and stuff. It just makes their life a lot easier uh, to just have this in your store. And it's going to be very simple uh, to add. So it's not going to be uh, like, you know, a very hard thing to do and is going to make your customers a lot happier so i would really recommend that you do this now you can select um a bunch of currencies to set up and stuff it's not just for you know usd so let's ask, let's actually jump into the tutorial it is going to be step by step so don't worry just follow me and you should um, get it done as well so the first thing you will need to do is just go to your uh, apps here your app store so just click on add apps and go to Shopify App Store. And then we just wait for it. And then we go to the search and go ahead and uh, type in currency converter. This one right here. So you just click on it. And here is when I said there's going to be plenty of methods to do so. This is what I mean. There's going to be a lot of apps that you can choose from. That could be better or worse than the one I will showcase. I will personally showcase Bucks Currency Converter because you can see here it says for free and it's going to be absolutely for free. You don't have to pay for anything. Same goes for Nova. Nova is also for free. Uh, but I will, I would, setting th things up for Bucks is personally, I've tested both when it comes to setup. Uh, I've seen that Bucks setup is pretty much just easier. I'm not saying Nova is bad. It's just, you know, both are the same. You just choose whichever one you want to go for. And then you've got other things, other apps here. Like, for example, this one is not just a currency converter, but it is actually a multilingual, multilingual um, app that is going to translate things for you. So just, you know, go for which one uh, suits you best. But if you just want to follow this tutorial and have a free version of everything, just go for bucks and follow my uh, steps. So just click on it and install it. We just give it a minute. And we confirm the installation. And then we will also need to set things up. We're not done yet because it does have a little easy setup that I will show you exactly how to finish. So you should find yourself in this page if you have installed the first time. What you will need to do is just click on this setting tab over here. Click on it. And then you should find yourself in this page. In this page, you will need to set things up. It's three simple steps, and I'll show you exactly how to do, do all of them. Okay. So the first one, you will need to actually click on setup. And you will need to copy HTML with currency. So just click on copy here. Okay. And then you will also need to go to... Um, we will basically need to copy both, but for now we just copy the first one. So we click on copy and then you go ahead to your Shopify settings. So click on settings and then uh, in the store details, we scroll down a little bit until we see, you know, the store currency and we just click on change formatting. And then from here, we will go to HTML with currency and actually paste the one that we have copied from the app. So we just paste it over here and then we can just click on save and we can go back and actually copy the other one and paste it on the other um, place. So again, click on setup. Let's copy now with the 
HTML without currency and copy it. Go to settings again and then go to change formatting and then from here we just paste it over here. And then we just click on save. And now we should be done uh, with the first step. I hope it was very clear. It's very simple. You just again copy whatever they give you here and then you just paste it in the change formatting section within the store currency. Very simple. So this is going to be step one and actually setting things up. And now let's actually do step two, which is enable theme app uh, extension. So, so you just click on enable and they will give you this link where you can just do it. But if for some reason you can't open the link or um, maybe you don't want to or anything or, or it doesn't work for you. Uh, first, if it does work for you, just click on, click on it and it should re already take you there. But if it doesn't, you just go to online store um, and then click on customize. And then you simply just click on this app embed icon and then you should find bucks currency converter now if you have clicked on the link it will already take you here so it should be easier for you but if for some reason you couldn't you can just get here and then you just click on the right of it where you can turn it on and uh people may not actually see it because the first time i tried like i thought something was broken because i couldn't see it but it is there, it's just super white and they should really change this. So anyways, just click on the right of it and the turn on button should appear. <coughs> Sorry, my bad. So click on save. Okay, so once you click on save and you exit uh, and go back to the app, we should find, uh, we, if we go to settings, that two steps are now done. The only thing left is to just enable the app. So we can just click on turn on on the top right. And we should be good to go. This is done. So we can just, you know, enable app again, again, just so they understand that it is done. Okay, so once we are done with this section, it actually just disappears. It goes away. And now we are uh, facing three different sections general section design and display so general section is going to be um, setting things up for currencies and stuff now you can add uh, custom currencies if you want but what i recommend instead is just turn on location based currency now you can do both so when it shows like if you click on here you can see auto location and also the rest of the currencies that you have added okay so you can add more. So for example, if I want to add my currency, so you, you can just search for it and add it. Okay. And then we can do things like, you know, with currency symbol and stuff like that. I suggest that you turn on uh, instant loader and also turn on the card notification just to let them know that the process is going to be within the actual store currency. In my case, uh, uh, Durham's. Uh, so, you know, the customers actually know what they're getting into. And then, you know, just follow the rest of the stuff. If you want to remove this, we'll just keep it at none. Don't even change this unless you really want to. And then if for design, it's going to be also completely up to you. So if you want to, you know, change how the flag looks like, the the theme of the flag, how you want it, I, I prefer the flat one, uh, traditional flags or modern, and things like that. And you can also, you know, change the um how things look so if you want this um mouse over color let's make it gray if you want and things like that okay so we can just completely design it to our liking and thing same thing goes for display it's just you know how you want or where you want it to be i suggest that you keep it to the bottom left uh but if you want to change it it's completely up to you basically so you get you get plenty of optimization or designing settings here I'm not going to go over all of them because this is going to be completely up to you. It's not going to change much. The main important thing is going to be actually general settings and adding the currencies that you want and turning on location based currency. So once you are done, you just click on save and it should actually be like appearing in your store. Now you should be good to go. So if you just click on uh, view our online store, Remember, it may take a few moments to actually load, so we may not find it, but we do. Okay, so we can see it here. And this is actually bothering me. So for this example, you can see the Shopify thing here 
is kind of ruining it so we can actually just change it to the bottom right instead we can do so i'm not going to do it right now but you, you get the idea it's very simple from the settings but you can see now it's actually working and uh, the currencies are all listed over here and you can also add more so let me actually just go to a product that i have let's go by red and you can see this is the actual currency that uh, it is listed in and we can see if we choose our dollars it is going to be already changed to it so this is basically how to add a currency converter to your shopify store i hope you liked this video and thanks for watching